Hello boogie woogie lovers. So we're going to have the first lesson today on the pine top boogie. This is one of the easiest boogies and most effective boogies that you can learn. A lot easier than um, some of the other boogie woogies I, I see out there in the tuition videos. And this is a tune by Dr. John called Pine Top Boogie. So um, if you Google that, you'll actually see some lessons from him as well. But I'm going to take a bit more nuts and bolts approach to explaining the tune than Dr. John does. And the part of the reason why it's so easy is because of the left hand is really basic. You're just playing one note at a time. So this is a just regular 12 bar blues. It's in E flat. So you're going to start off in the key of E flat. And then you're going to go to the four chord later on, which is going to be A flat, and then back to the one chord, E flat, and then up to your five chord, B flat, four chord, A flat, and then one chord, E flat again. And uh, this is a great key for this boogie because it means that you can play a lot of the black notes and that means it's technically relatively easy and also where it places in the piano you've got a really meaty sound in the bass and the bass line is, sim is as simple as this in its most basic form. So you're playing your one, your E flat your 5 which is B flat, your dominant 7 which is D flat and then the octave above your E flat here. Now once you really get into playing it you want to be improvising a bit in both hands, your left as well as your right hand. Now I'm going to play it up here because it's probably easiest to see uh, to start practicing this with the hands fairly close so you can see how they coordinate. In the right hand, you've got really uh, the main riff is like this. And so, really, in the right hand, if you're breaking it down, that's essentially the riff there. And this interval here is a sixth, so there are six notes in the scale of E flat between these two notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see, I can play, I'm playing now the dominant E flat scale. Uh, because you need to flatten the seventh really for when you're in blues, um, certainly in this kind of boogie blues in jazz blues is different, but here. And also this is a minor third, so your scale of E flat here, that's your third minor third, and you're going to get that a lot. We'll talk that, about that more when we talk about improvisation, so how does it all fit together? you'll notice actually each time you're playing a note in the left hand you're playing a note in the right hand almost throughout the entire riff so if you just start off with just playing a rhythm now let's really break it down a bit more you've got a lead in note here that's going to be coming coinciding with that note that's on your and and you can see also as a passing note I played the, the E flat there rather than the C that's in the music 
that's because you, you need to have some freedom in improvisation. If you play this too rigidly, it's just not going to sound right. And you will learn, use your ear to find out which notes work. Now, the beauty of this boogie is when you move to the four chord, it's really pretty much the same apart from... You're going to be avoiding this note that you were playing in your one chord in the E flat. And the reason for that, technically, is that this is the major seventh of your four chord of A flat. And as I mentioned before, you don't really want to be playing your major seventh. You want to play a dominant seventh, so you flatten the seventh. So all it means is you're just changing the riff from this to this. And then to your B flat. So I think that it's really the, the reason why this is such a good one to start with is that you can make little mistakes like um, you see, I played that note instead of that note. Or I'm playing that note. There's lots of these passing notes that you can, as long as it's in a dominant um, scale of E flat, it's going to work. Your main thing is you need to get these sixths right. You can even improvise with those. In fact, you can play here a flattened fifth. That's what Dr. John does in his um, studio recording of uh, Pine Top Boogie, I, I think. And if you play that with the bass slower, then you can hear how that works. And in the left hand here, we have probably the first improv improvisation you should um, learn, which is the walk up to the four chord. So really, it's um, theory, in theory terms, it's very simple. It's just you're in your you're in E flat. You're playing um, your one with an octave, a broken octave. The second note of the scale. Your second, your minor third, and then your third, and then you're up to your four. Nice and easy. Now I think that clearly. You're going to need to practice doing that. So I think you can see that you can, even playing it really slow and really simple, you're getting a really effective um, sound out of this boogie, so you get <clears throat> you get quite a lot back for um, for the amount of practice that you're putting in, and um, just be aware of exactly what notes you are playing in relation to the to the the chord that you're in that you are in. So here, here you are. That's your third, and then that's your one. Here you go, that's your four, fourth note of the E flat major scale, and then, then that's the second, and then here that's your fifth, and then that's your minor third. I mean, if it seems like a lot to take on board now, that's how all blues and jazz players have to think, so you're going to have to learn it anyway. And then what it means is that when, you, when you're getting to improvise, then you will know which notes work partly by having reference to those numbers, but you won't even be thinking about them. But you will be understanding why they are working as they are. You, you hear that, that um, is a, you know, it's dissonant and it needs to resolve. It wants to resolve back here. But it goes up first. When you're in your four chord, 
there you've got your dominant seventh here, your um, fifth here, your one. Remember, remember we're in A flat now, dominant A flat scale. So that's your seventh of the A flat scale, that's your fifth, that's your one, and that's your six, and that's your two, and then that's your seven. But these are all six intervals. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's really the whole riff. And the rest of it is in the rhythm. We need a separate video about getting the rhythm right. But it's a kind of, it's not straight. And it's not too, you know, you, you need to swing it your own way, that way you, you, you feel comfortable with it. Okay, until next time.